<laughs> In this episode of Freaky Feasts, Coconuts goes hunting. So we've been biking for five hours through the jungle with absolutely no roads, muddy, there's a few wipeouts, a few mishaps. Finally we got here. We're at a Karen village and we're hungry and we're gonna go get some food the old-fashioned way. We're gonna kill it. We journeyed to a tiny village in search of the biggest animal that you can legally hunt in Thailand, wild boar. These close cousins of the domestic pig can get massive. Some of the biggest caught have weighed in at over 100 pounds. That's about 50 kilograms. That's a whole lot of bacon. To catch this forest-dwelling beast, we teamed up with U, a member of the Karen Hill Tribe who had previously led me on a trek through the lush jungles of northern Thailand. What kind of animals are going to be out there tonight? Uh -huh. Deer, wild cat, something. Deer, wild cat. Uh -huh. Pig. Pigs. Yeah. Are there any snakes out there? Yeah, snakes also. Okay. Well, let's hope we don't run into any snakes then. Right. And we're off. <laughs> All right, so right now it's pitch black. We're in the middle of the jungle, very quiet, and we're stalking something. Basically, we wear these headlamps, look around, and if it illuminates the eyes of something, then we go in for a kill. So, the key here is be very, very quiet, be very, very alert. And we've gotten off the main trail, just straight into the jungle, just navigating. And, uh, it's starting to get pretty weird. Your eyes start playing tricks on you. You start hearing things. So I'll cut to the chase here. We didn't have any luck hunting at night, but that wasn't for lack of effort. We left the house at 7 p.m. and didn't get back until around 2 a.m. We spent seven hours in the moonlit jungle hiking through the thick, wet, and muddy vegetation. Maybe we were just exhausted after the treacherous motorcycle ride, or maybe we were just too noisy in the forest. Either way, no luck. The next day we got up early, had breakfast, and headed back into the woods. The thing about hunting is that it's 99% hiking and tracking, but once you find the beast it's all over in a matter of seconds. It requires a great deal of patience. We'd come all this way for a freaky feast and it seemed like we weren't going to find anything, but then Ooh spotted this terrifying spider. Right here is the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life, ever. Maybe that includes zoos, museums, all that. It's an enormous spider. And what Ooh La, La just told us is, is that these things are a delicacy. And I think this is kind of the penultimate freaky feast because this is a spider. This isn't a cockroach or a grasshopper. That's my hand, that's the spider. I wouldn't call it an extreme phobia, but I definitely get a little weary when I see these uh, Giant spiders. And what if they bite you? We can take up, uh, take up the tip and just bite them from oh the Oh my god. Yeah. So right now, we're removing the fangs. Yep, there they go. So there's no poison, there's no Listen, venom. No, now there's no poison. We take up the tit already. It's a tit. It's poison palm on the tit. And you've had it before, right? Yeah. How many times in your life? Oh, every time you see it, you can eat it. Any time you yeah, see it? Yeah. Well, I think this is probably the grossest thing I will have ever eaten. It's my one sort of fear. And if I could eat it, that means I can conquer it. Deep down, I don't want to do it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you, U. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do it together. We continue to hike for three more hours. Seven in total, but still no board. So, dejected and exhausted, we started heading back and then Ooh went off into the woods. So we've been hunting for one night, one day. All we found is a spider and so forth, but uh, looks like we might be onto something. If it's edible, okay, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, we're tired. We're itching. Well, 
Let's see if we got it. Beautiful. All right. Wow, it's still alive. Wow. He called Nook Cow. Nook Cow? Yeah. White call, bird? Yeah. White bird. You eat them? Yeah. yeah, we eat them. We, we, we can eat them. Yeah. So we didn't catch a boar, but we did bring home a bird and a spider. An odd couple, but together they seemed to warrant a freaky feast. Once we arrived back at Ooze house, we sat down for the lunch we'd been waiting for. To see the whole preparation of killing, defeathering, and cleaning was slightly shocking. But in reality, this process is more ethical than my normal routine of going to the supermarket and picking up a bird. This no cow isn't pumped full of hormones or antibiotics, and it's not trapped inside a tiny cage. It is truly 100% organic. This is what's left of the bird we caught today. It's been cleaned and uh, looks a little bigger with the feathers on. I'm not looking forward to the uh, spider at all. I think the bird probably is going to be pretty good. I mean, there's not a whole lot of meat on it, but supposedly it tastes like chicken. And I guess insects really don't have organs inside. That's the main thing I don't understand. What is inside that spider? Love juice. I guess there's only one way to find out, though. I guess it's been about an hour and 15 minutes since this bird was taken. And uh, we're going to try it out here, see what it tastes like. Not too far off from chicken. If I didn't know any better, and I didn't see this bird uh, in its pre-cooked state, I might think this was chicken. The size is a little, uh, a little off, but the taste is very similar. <laughs> what about uh, avian bird flu and all that jazz? You think that's a big or uh, big deal? Avian flu? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, we have an egg inside. Ew, that's disgusting. So it all comes down to this, eating the spider that we found today. And uh, yeah, I'm having second thoughts about this. You promised me, right? Promise that I'm not gonna get sick. All right, it's gonna do this and get it over. All right, <clears throat> one, two, one, two. What did it taste like? A bean that's been grilled yeah. too much. So that it's kind of a crunchy outside and like a bean consistency on the inside. Earthy, I'd definitely say earthy. And bitter. I really can't think of a word to describe it just because I'm still processing the fact that I ate that and I need to <clears throat> get past it. All right, so yeah, it was good. Overall, no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, but it was manageable. It was a manageable thing to eat. It's in the past. I ate a spider. So in the end, we didn't get what we came for, but we did have the opportunity to experience the great food and culture of the Karen Hill tribe. The trip also gave me a newfound appreciation for hunting. It's not a sport for these guys. It's how they get their food. We're so far removed from it living in the city that we often forget about how some folks do it. They do it the old way, and it's not easy.